Well, this is it. Merry Christmas, everyone. The Christmas update in Brookhaven has officially arrived, and it is better than expected. It has surprises that, well, no one spot. No, 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 who would have guessed that we would have been getting an ocean Christmas update where it adds on the outer part of the Brookhaven map. It expands it, adds islands, beaches, and ocean. This is insane, and this opens up a lot of new possibilities for Brookhaven going into the new year of 2024. But Christmas is upon us. That means the Christmas tree is here. Santa's sleigh has returned, and Christmas decor scattered throughout all of Brookhaven leaves us in a wonderful holiday spirit, and uh, I am Santa Claus. Yeah. Hit the like button, subscribe, and then post that picture. Read the button, get a good thing if you haven't already, and that's going to notify you of every single future video. So... That be the case, guys, make sure you crush the likes on this video for the Christmas update. I need to see the likes absolutely crushed. So, right away, guys, there's a lot. There's presents scattered throughout all of the map. We're going to be going from top to bottom, everything, all in one video, dude. This is your one stop for everything, okay? Like, we're not playing around, dude. This is this is, this is is literally everything in one video. So, right away, we're going to kick suck this off. Obviously, a lot of the businesses in Brookhaven and stuff now have wonderful Christmas lights. And you will see Christmas trees scattered throughout all of Brookhaven and in a lot of homes. A lot of the houses have Christmas decor also connected to them. Inside of the house, you will see Christmas trees. And do not forget that you can also go over here to your props and you can spawn in different Christmas Christmassy props. So, right here is... Uh, uh, some pretty cool examples of that. So we can spawn in the bag of presents. We can spawn in the snowman. We can spawn in a Christmas tree. Some candles. It's amazing, dude. It's really amazing. So yeah, don't forget that you do have your props here that will allow you to spawn in some Christmassy type items and stuff as well. So that be the case, let's move on over to something for premium users. This has been a yearly something every year that we see return and that is santa's sleigh so santa's sleigh is a wonderful wonderful expansion and you even got rudolph here look at him <laughs> now it, it you know this is probably one of the more unusual things at brookhaven the 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 texture of these reindeers and stuff but i i, I believe santa's sleigh's been in the christmas updates in brookhaven since the beginning of brookhaven so yeah it's kind of like a nice tradition this little button here spawns in the sleigh uh if it's not there already and then you just hop on the sleigh You'll hear a couple jingle bells, and you're off to deliver all the presents. Unless the Grinch stops us. But that be the case, there are also, if you look on the outer parts of the map now, you will see that there is an ocean. Lots of ocean, islands, and everything scattered out. And there's a lot to cover. So, basically, also... Take in touch on some of the decor. Uh, the billboards have like a candy cane theme, and we also have a new item. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we will see that there is a candy cane lollipop. So that's pretty cool. I, I mean, that's cool. So yeah, you can you can just kind of enjoy your uh, your candy cane. You know, Santa can enjoy his candy cane. Who says Santa Claus don't get snacks? You know, you're like, what do you mean? He gets to eat a bunch of cookies while he's delivering the presents and everything but he might need some snacks on the way he's a pretty hefty guy so that'd be the case um if we go on over to lake madison you will see that lake madison isn't frozen but i do have to point out some very key notes here for people curious you cannot spawn the boats in lake madison lake madison you can only spawn the fishing boat and the already spawned yacht so that'd be the case the yacht is still in position. The yacht has a lot of cool Christmas decor added to it as well. Uh, and uh, even the cabin has some Christmas lights added to it. But if we start making our way over to this part of the ocean, you're going to see something cool. Obviously, the trees and everything have been introduced. We've been talking about the possibility of an ocean or a beach or uh, expanding Brookhaven's map for ages. Never once did we actually see it actually happen. Never once did we think it was actually going to happen. Just because it just didn't seem like something Wolfpack was interested in in the longest amount of time adding into Brookhaven. So, if we come over here though, you will see some things kind of blocking off the road. We got these amazing trees and it says, Boats spawn beyond this point. So, this is also something that is a little bit new to the map. So, you cannot spawn boats anywhere other than beyond that point. Uh, in the ocean. You can also not drive normal vehicles in the water either. So if we come down here uh, and wow at the, the list of boats and stuff that is added, guys, it's absolutely nuts. So here's my cyber truck. Who's getting the new cyber truck? Okay, maybe some of your parents are getting a new cyber truck. But uh, if we come out here, you will see that it stops me from being able to go any, any bit further. It just is, there's an invisible thing there that stops me and I cannot drive my vehicles into the water, which makes sense, you know? I don't know why I would want to ruin my new cyber truck. Just got it. Why would I want to ruin it? So uh, yeah, that's the possibility there. Now, 
it's about to get crazy. You see one of the ocean, or <laughs> bring out the ocean, dude. Uh, but if you see one of the islands over there, we're gonna go out here. Now, one thing is weird, like you don't enter a swim animation if you're out here, like the ocean's not really deep, right? So uh, a lot of people are talking about the possibility of a submarine or something, but the ocean's not really that deep. Um, and you don't swim or anything like you would in Lake Madison. The water is very much so different. I think it's because there's so much, you know, so it doesn't overload the game or anything. It, it still runs properly. Uh, but yeah, so let's start with the first boat, one of my favorites, and that is the first jet ski that is free. Now keep in mind, there is five free boats. Anybody and everybody watching this video right now can go spawn these five boats. However, there's eight premium boats and a new game pass. We're also gonna be showcasing those in these videos if you're thinking about buying the new game pass. So. That be the case, this is the jet ski. Of course, I'm Santa Claus. I want a red one. This is looking amazing. So this jet ski is really cool. Now, one thing to also note about these, you can change the speed and customize these. I always go 2000, it'll be crazy, but I always go 200 speed on the water just because it's better. Now let's actually go here and let's change the time so we can get some brightness going. There we go. Um, you can add turbo on every single boat in the game. So what this is gonna do is give you obviously extremely fast acceleration and with 200 speed, you can now hit some of the cool new stunt jumps that the islands are there for. So yeah, the islands are gonna consist of really cool, fun, unique stunt jumps that you will be able to perform uh, through the islands, just like that. Look at that, dude, that is so amazing. Who knew Santa Claus would be doing stunt jumps on the ocean on a jet ski? This is a vacation for him this Christmas, what? That be the case, you might be like, okay, the islands are interesting. Are they just there for doing crazy, unique stunt jumps? Well, you can do island survivals. Uh, you can do Mr. Beast survive on an island for 100 days and win 100,000 Robux. That sounds cool. Um, so yeah, you can do stuff like that with the islands. You know, they increase and create cool role plays, you know, being stuck on an island, stuff like that. Um, let's see if I can do a backflip. Ooh, no backflip. Oh, almost, it went, it almost went for a backflip, but yeah. So all the islands are slightly different in design. Um, now, is there any secrets on these islands? Anything that is noteworthy? Well, on stream, we did accidentally glitch inside one of the islands and we found a secret agency bunker. So we're gonna be showcasing, no, I'm kidding. But uh, it, it, we accidentally glitched in because we were using Santa Slade. So we accidentally glitched inside of the island and uh, there was nothing in there. Not to my knowledge. I think it was this island here, actually. So I've yet to really fully inspect all the other islands. If you guys find something before me, make sure you tweet it my way on Twitter at totally not ONG. Links are obviously in the description as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys find anything. Now this side of the map doesn't have any island, uh, which is interesting. This is the side where the abandoned shack is. There's no island over here. So I don't know if there's gonna be something in the future that kinda we see there or what, I'm not sure. It depends on what Wolfpack has planned. So. Obviously, the jet ski is pretty cool, right? So now if we go over, we have the sailboat, which is pretty cool. Uh, it is a, a, a one of the smaller sailboats that you can use. Um, you can also change the color of that and fully customize it. So this is a really cool boat as well. Let's go ahead and hop over to the next one. This one is one of the speed boats, and this thing's fun. Now, the speed boats, the premium one from the Game Pass in this, do have this feature back here. So this allows you to kind of, uh, you know, do some fun activities of sort actually you only get one with this oh so the with the premium one the one with the game pass you get some extra which we're going to be looking at soon but yeah this is the free speed boat it can sit up to like six people i believe and uh it's pretty darn cool in my opinion now these little buttons and stuff that you see on the boat are usually just the lights okay so uh there's a couple boat uh, boats that look like they have secret buttons on them but it's just the lights guys it's just the lights okay so yeah there's the speed boat one of the speed boats there um and then if we proceed forth we got the first police boat now this one is really cool obviously the police boats really uh are armed and ready and dangerous so uh, the police boats absolutely love it. Um, there is this as well. You can change it to a sheriff boat, um, a military police. Um, so there's different variations, of course. The sheriff boat, that's pretty fun. Um, you can change it there. And this thing, obviously, do not forget, you can add turbo even to this as well. If you want to make it go super fast, you can do that. So yeah, there ain't no criminals getting away on the waters either. Um, and then, of course, you got your sirens here as well, which, speaking of which, is my game audio completely no oh, it's just kind of turned down lower okay so yeah that be the case there's that moving on to the next one we have a more high grade 
military boat. This one is kind of insane because it has a turret that uh, doesn't play around, basically. This one does not play around. Now, I don't see anywhere on this boat that allows you to change the visual, uh, the visuals of it um, like you can the other one, which is surprising. I thought maybe it'd be like an agency boat or something, which we might get that going into the new year. We might get like an agency boat or something going into the new year. Um, so yeah, there's this. This one's pretty cool as well. So obviously the boats, they do pretty good as well, guys. Like if they're going fast and stuff, you don't fall off the boat or anything. So that's a huge plus there. Um, all right, so now let's move on down to the eight premium boats that if you want the game pass, you will be able to get. So the new boat pass costs 299 Robux, basically 300 Robux, which isn't as bad. And it's not the most expensive game pass, but this game pass is called the boat pack. And it basically includes eight new boats of different variety. So this is one of the new jet skis. Honestly, I love it. It's more of a speed based jet ski. It looks like, and uh, yeah, it doesn't get much better, right? So next one is this one right here, which is a blue one, slightly different design but you can do some really cool stuff with this, with the jet ski racing and everything in between. But this also leads me to believe, guys, that there's going to be a new theme pack update coming soon. What I mean is, if you go here and you click this paint bucket, there's tons of new themes. I truly believe, guys, that we're gonna get a new theme pack, uh, ocean, new theme ocean pack or something that's gonna be arriving soon. So I definitely believe that's coming and that's something to look forward to as well. Now, um, let's go ahead and spawn the big sailboat. Now, this one is so cool, guys. This one, just like the one that's free, but it's a lot more gigantic and big. Now, yes, this instantly made me think that there might be pirate boats or pirate treasure hiding on some of the islands. I would love to see a pirate boat added, just like how the castle got added. It was over the top, it was extreme, and it was so much fun. So yeah, Wolfpack, if you wanna add a pirate ship, I'm more than open for it. Um, so yeah, that would be super cool. Uh, it, it, it's just really cool to see these awesome boats like this. So now, moving on up, we have the 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 other speedboat. Now this speedboat has other ability. Oop, I jumped out of the. Come on, just thank you. Now this one has a lot more. You could do the small one. You could do the larger tube. Then you can also come on. You got this thing. What is this? A hot dog? It's just like a hot dog, dude. I I don't know. Um, and wait, is that it? There's just those three. Okay, so as you can tell, it has a few extra ones in expanded variations uh, that you don't get with just the free one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, moving on, we have this boat here, which is a hydroplane boat, I believe, Anna said on stream. Um, and this thing can apparently go extremely fast. Now in Brookhaven, it can only go up to 200, but apparently these things go extremely fast in real life. Here's like a secret button we were kind of freaking out about, but it turned out just to be the light. So yeah. That's what I was kind of referring to earlier. So yeah, this thing, really cool. Apparently one of the more faster boats. So this thing can probably outperform any of the boats on the list. So, and uh, people like to call it the banana boat, which uh, I guess I could see that. It does look like some bananas. Um, so yeah, that be the case, moving on. Now we have this one, a super upgraded police boat. Now this one, you know, if you need to do any patrolling or anything, you also have this thing, which is a fire hydrant. So I think this is kind of like just for you know, first responding, you know, just making sure everything's good on the water. You know, there's no guns, there's nothing like that. It's just to make sure everything is secure and patrolled correctly or there for help. So yeah, this one's really cool. I like this one a lot as well. Um, so yeah, moving on. Now we got the military grade battleship. Now, yeah, dude, this one is crazy actually, dude. Look, we got the turret here. Come on, Santa Claus on a turret, are you kidding me? Holy moly, dude, this is crazy. So yeah, this one, uh, kind of nutty, not gonna lie. There's also turrets on the front. This is a battleship, dude. And uh, look at all this, all this stuff on the screen here, dude. This is crazy. So yeah, this one's definitely cool. Now, one that everybody freaks out about is kind of like the party boat or the 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 lifestyle boat. You know, you can sit here and have a romantic dinner. I can bring Mrs. Claus here. We can just have a romantic getaway before we have to deliver all those presents, right? Um, so yeah. This is kind of cool. This one has more like a pirate ship vibe on how you control it, you know? So you're gonna need a navigator, hire a navigator, but this is just like your getaway out on the ocean, you know? You wanna get away, you have your bed, everything, you can really feel connected to the water, and uh, it's pretty cool for that. And this thing could go fast too. I, I, actually, can you add turbo to this one? 
You actually can, dude. You can, you can add turbo to this thing. Let's. I cannot believe it. Now, even with turbo, this thing starts off kind of slow. I mean, it is a heftier boat. It's bigger. Um, this actually, I think, is a great introduction to even adding bigger boats, like, like cruise ships. Like, are you kidding me, guys? A cruise ship update, please. Oh my God, Wolfpack, please add a cruise ship update for 2024 going into New Year with an agency boat as well. Like, it would be so cool. It would be so cool. So yeah, there's that. Now slowing the boats down, they it, 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 they do take time to slow down a little bit, but there you have it, dude. That's all the boats. So uh, it's pretty cool, right? So obviously there's a few other things in this update, but I think we included pretty much all the basics in this video. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. Merry Christmas. It's going to be a crazy time. Plus, we got a Bloxfruit update coming out. What? See you guys in the next one.